Hello students, welcome to my channel. This video contains classic science Olympiad, previous year paper 2021, question paper set B. You can also find other Olympiad papers of classics in my channel. I have given the playlist link in the description box. Do watch. Before going to the video, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Let's move into the video. Achiever section. So in this video, I have solved Achiever section questions. So this section consists of five questions, each carry three marks. The questions will be in higher order thinking skill. Let's move into the video. Question number 46. Consider the following circuits. So the question is the correct option for the brightness of bulbs in decreasing order. Assume all the batteries and bulbs are identical. So before going to solve the questions, now I tell you some key points about bulbs and batteries, right? So when batteries are cells connected in series, So here voltage of each cell gets added up, gets added up so that current in this combination, current, current flow in this combination get increased so this will cause or this will make the bulb glow more right so when you connected the batteries in the series so voltage of each cells gets added up together that's why the current flow in this particular combination will get increased and makes the bulbs to glow more and more bright, right? So what will happen when batteries are connected in parallel? So while, connect, while batteries are connected in parallel, it will not affect the brightness of the bulbs. It will not affect the brightness of the bulb. But why? Because voltage of individual cells voltage of individual cells do not add up do not add up together so current flow does not increase which means the current, the voltage remains same throughout the circuit in parallel connection of batteries. So finally, if batteries are connected in parallel, voltage of individual cells do not add up together. That's why the current flows does not increase, which means the voltage remains same throughout the circuit. Right. So now, We'll see bulbs connected in series. So when bulbs are connected in series, here the voltage gets divided, gets divided between the bulbs. Right. But if bulbs are connected in parallel, parallel bulbs will have same voltage, bulbs will have same voltage across them. 
as that of the bulb battery as that of the battery so when the bulbs are connected in series the bulbs will have equal brightness but it is dimmer than the normal because in series connection of bulbs there is decrease in electricity or decrease in current why there is decrease in electricity yes because when the bulbs are connected in series the voltage in the circuit circuits divided between the bulbs if number of bulbs increases then the glow will get decreases right but in bulbs in parallel when the bulbs are connected in parallel all the bulbs will have the same voltage all the bulbs will have the same voltage which means all the bulbs will glow will have the same brightness because they each receive the same amount of electricity when bulbs are connected in parallel these bulbs the bulbs which are in parallel connection will receive same amount of electricity same amount of electricity right so finally what can be concluded yes the bulbs which are connected in parallel bulbs which are connected in bulbs which are connected in parallel will glow will glow more brighter will glow more brighter than bulbs connected in series bulbs connected in series right so these are the points regarding bulbs connected in series as well as in parallel so now we'll solve the question first circuit in this we have three batteries so what will happen when the batteries are connected in series so here series connection here batteries are connected in series here batteries are connected in parallel here parallel here series connection so let us take the first circuit when the bulbs are connected in series here the voltage of these three bulbs get add up so when voltage get add up together the current flow in this particular circuit will get increase so voltage is increased means here we have only one bulb so what will happen this bulb will glow more brighter than the others so first circuit will glow more and more brighter than the others so next we will move on to the fourth circuit here two batteries are connected in series and two bulbs are connected in parallel so when batteries are connected in series the voltage of these two cells gets add up right so this add up the voltage get flows throughout the circuit whereas the two bulbs are connected in parallel parallel connection in parallel connection each bulb will receive the same amount of electricity so that add up voltage will flow through the circuit means here the voltage get increased by increased for example let us take this battery having two voltage and this having two voltage means series connection these two voltage get added together which means four volt will get passed through the circuit so each battery each bulb in this parallel connection will receive receive the same voltage that is four volt four volt so now the bulb will glow brighter so after one four will glow right next we'll move on to the third circuit here batteries are connected in parallel so parallel means what will happen yes in parallel connection the voltage remains same throughout the circuit but we have here only one bulb so after four the bulb in the third circuit will glow brighter right then we'll compare two and five here so fifth circuit will compare here two batteries which means the voltage will get add up together that added voltage that increased voltage will flow through the throughout the circuit but here we have three bulbs 
so what will happen when the bulbs are connected in series well connected in series yes the voltage gets divided between these three bulbs right but in circuit 2 we have parallel connection in batteries so which means the voltage does not increase the voltage remains same throughout the circuit voltage remains throughout the circuit and here again the bulbs are connected in series so the voltage get divided between these two bulbs so finally the fifth will glow more brighter than the two so finally the bulbs in the circuit will glow very least compared to the others right let's find out the answer finally the series would be 1 4 3 5 2 right so which is the right answer it's option d is the right answer Question number 47, read the given passage and fill in the blanks by selecting an appropriate option. A few mixtures are listed in the box. Mustard oil and water, wheat grains and rice flakes, tea leaves and milk, kidney beans and chickpeas, cream and milk, salt and water. So now we will read out the paragraph. Mixture dash can be separated by centrifugation method. So, what is centrifugation process? Yes, in this process, two liquids can be separated from a mixture. Right. So, now we will move on to the table. Mustard oil and water. These two are liquids, but these two are immiscible liquids. So, we can separate oil from water. Right. Using separating funnel method. Whereas, we can extract cream from the milk with the process of centrifugation. So, for P, it's the answer is it's 5. So, now move on to the option. Option C and D hold the right answer for the P. So, what we do means we straight away eliminate the option A and B. So, this is called eliminating the option method. Right. Now, we'll move on to the next one. Mixture dash can be separated by winnowing yes wheat grains and rice flakes can be separated by winnowing process so q hold second one so we have only two more options left out for q holds second here and for q it holds first one first one means it's mustard oil and water right so we cannot able to separate mustard oil and water by the method of winnowing so this part is wrong in option D. So straight away option D is also wrong. So finally we have only one option left out that is C. So C could be your correct answer. So now we will check with this option. Right. So now we will move on to the third part. The mixture 4 can be separated by. So what is 4 here? Yes kidney beans and chickpeas. We can separate these two by the process of hand picking. So here R holding the right answer that is hand picking here. Then fourth one is mixture dash can be separated by filtration. So which one? Yes. Tea leaves and milk. These two can be separated by the method of method of filtration. So S holds three. Third option. So it is also correct here. Then last one is mixture six. What is six? It's salt and water. So, salt and water can be separated by the process of evaporation. So, finally, option C holds the right answer for all the five, or five questions, right? So, finally, it's option C is the right answer for this question. Question number 48. Read the given passage where few words are utilized. Identify incorrect utilized words and select the incorrect statement regarding them. Here some words are utilized, evaporation, hotter, cooler and fog. So now read out the paragraph. Process of evaporation plays an important role in bringing water back to earth. So what is evaporation? So the conversion of water into water vapor is called evaporation. So afterwards what will happen? Yes, when the air moves up and up, it gets cooler and cooler, right? So now what is the second point? Surface of the earth gets hotter as we move higher from the surface. No, the surface of the earth gets cooler as we move higher from the surface, right? So after evaporation, 
the air moves up and up it gets cooler so the air becomes so cool so that the water vapor present in the air get condensed in the form of tiny drops of water the form of tiny drops of water so this tiny drops of water is called as droplets so this process is called condensation process right so afterwards the many droplets of water are become together to form a large sized large sized drops of water so some drops of water become so heavy so that they begin to fall in the form of rain in the form of rain back to the earth so this process is called precipitation so here the evaporation plays an important role in bringing water back to earth and one more thing is the surface of the air yeah, surface of the earth gets cooler as we move higher from the surface next point is air as it moves up gets cooler yes it's correct at sufficient height uh, the air becomes so cool and water present in it condense to become not fog it to become a droplets this is called condensation process right so now the options are evaporation must not be changed as it is correctly mentioned yes it is correct in option b hotter must not be changed as it is correctly mentioned no hotter has to be changed into cooler so as per the question which is the incorrect statement regarding them yes option b could be the right answer for this question then option c cooler must not be changed as it is correctly mentioned it is also correct then fog must change into droplets this is also correct question number 49 read the given statements and select the option that correctly fills in the blanks in any two of them the first part is exoskeleton in cockroach is made up of so skeleton in cockroach is made up of chitin right then second part is dash in face is filled with air and helps them to move up and down in water that is swim bladder the third part is in snails dash secretes slime and moves the snail along that is muscular foot so the muscular foot of snail will secrete mucus like slime right so this helps the snails move along then fourth part of this question is body shape in earthworm is maintained by fluid present inside the body such skeleton is called dash that is liquid skeleton liquid skeleton so now we'll move on to the option so now the correct option is so in the question itself it's been said that select an option which is correctly matched any two of them so finally option b is a right answer for this question question number 50 refer to the given table and select the correct option so in this table name of the vitamins and its deficiency and its source of vitamins are given move on to the first row vitamin a so when deficiency of vitamin a it will cause night blindness right so now move on to the option in option a and b w hold the right answer is night blindness then option c w holds beri beri so when deficiency of vitamin b you will have beri beri if a deficiency in vitamin c it will cause scurvy right so this part is wrong in this option so no need to check the remaining part so directly we straight away we reject this we eliminate this particular two options c and d so finally we have only two options that is a and b so either a could be a right answer or b could be a right answer so now move on to the second row that is vitamin d so when there is a deficiency of vitamin d it will cause recurts and what is the source of the vitamin d yes the main source of vitamin d is sunlight and milk and milk products milk and its milk products then some seafood right so move on to the option here x holds sunlight 
and X holds butter. So butter is also rich in vitamin D, right? So again, we have two options is left over that is A and B is correct. So we'll check the remaining part. Vitamin. So this particular deficiency in, in this vitamin will have excessive bleeding after injury. And this particular vitamin is sourced from green leafy vegetables. So what it could be is obviously is a vitamin K. So the main responsible for the vitamin K is clotting the blood. So why could be K? So option A is our right answer because here Y holds B3. So this particular part is wrong. So directly option B is also wrong. Right. Then last one is vitamin A and its deficiency is nerve disorder and muscular weakness. Hence finally option A is the right answer for this question. Hope you all like this video. Thanks for watching.